I think a lot of folks look at us in the community as being the school system and they don't see us as an employer. I mean, they see us as a collection of schools and a system of schools and in their community, they see the schools and the feeder schools that their children are associated with. And, and I think rarely think about the Beaufort County Schools as being a large employer of about a thousand people. Anytime you're dealing with the budget cuts to the level that we've had recently, it touches personnel. You know, when you, when you either aren't able to continue to hire individuals or you're not filling positions, then it certainly has a, an, a negative impact on the economy because you've got fewer people that are in our local economy that are wage earners that are able to contribute and put back into the economy. We're down a little bit over 100 positions in the last six years, but that has not involved a RIF at this point. It hasn't involved a particular individual losing a job. We've been able to capture positions as people have, have left in going through the attrition process. Uh, but, but I would say during that period of time, the workload uh, ha has increased greatly, not just because those individuals aren't with us anymore, but just the accountability and the amount of work has increased exponentially and we've got fewer individuals to get that work done. So more and more folks, or fewer and fewer folks are doing more and more of the work. So there's a cost to that in terms of on the employee side inside the school district, but there's also a cost, I think, to the community because you have now a, a hundred fewer individuals who are out fully gained, fully employed from the Beaufort County Schools. So as we continue to make those cuts, the cuts are significant and they happen in a lot of different areas and ways.